Episode 2 opens with a lab, where puppies are being examined and they have been marked. The puppies who are weak or not suitable for the purpose are burnt. Dogs are raised to become companions. Every dog are assigned to their owner to become their companion. Owners are training their dogs. Then we see a man who is a scientist whose bounty was told by Hancho and Maximus got as a target. This man also have a companion whom he raised and trained himself. He loves his dog. He is working in some of his project. He made a tiny transmitter kind of stuff, which he injects in his neck. One day a man visits him and he is talking about something. They start fighting and the man pushes him. Then his dog attacked and killed him. After this event, the scientist with his dog escapes from there. In next scene we see Lucy. She is moving forward. She enters a house. There she finds skeletons of house owners. It seems that they died long ago. She moves on. She stops at a place to spend night. She lights the fire. While she was sleeping, she heard dog growling. She wakes up. Then she sees the scientist who escaped from his lab was sitting next to her with his dog. Lucy gets scared. Lucy tells him that she is looking for her father. He was kidnapped by the women named Moldover. She asked him that had he seen her. The man says you should go back. Vault dwellers are an endangered species here. You come from a world of rules, of laws, and this place is indifferent to all of that. He also says that he don't think the Swirlthly, she, would be willing to do what it takes to survive up here. Lucy says, I am not going back without my dad. The man says that the choice is yours. Lucy asked who you are, but the man walks away. In next scene, we see Maximus, who is moving towards his target with his knight Titus by the chopper. Out of curiosity, he wants to talk to Titus, but Titus is not interested in him. Titus says, set us down, I'm bored, and I want to shoot something. Maximus says, but my lord, we are assigned to search a town called Philly. We are still miles away. But Titus says, you are here to follow my orders. And they lands down. Then we see the scientist with his companion is walking in jungle. He gets tired and sits down. His dog goes into a cave from where it brings back a severed hand. The scientist realizes that there is something dangerous in the cave. Then we see Titus and Maximus arrive near the cave. Maximus finds the belongings of the scientist and his dog, who are their targets, and tells Titus. They hears a strange sound from the cave. Titus orders Maximus, go see if the target's in there. Maximus says, but my lord, I don't have armor. Titus says, it's an order, squire. Maximus follows his order. Then suddenly Maximus saw a wild bear standing behind Titus. Bear attacks Titus. Titus runs to his life, but the bear knocks him down and keeps attacking. Titus orders Maximus, shoot it, you piece of shit. Maximus shoots him. Titus says to help him and asks to remove his armor. Then Titus scolds Maximus very rudely and says, you are worthless. They send me on a stupid mission with a piece of shit. Titus orders Maximus to bring him the stim pack. It is a fictional injection used to heal. Titus abuses Maximus. He says, this is all your fault. You are worthless. Do you know? What punishment is given to a squire who doesn't look after his knight? Who doesn't do their job? They hang by your lungs and let vultures come to get you. The same will happen to you. Titus says, give me the stim pack, you moron. I can't breathe. Maximus says, it is knight's duty to better this fallen world, and you don't deserve that armor. Titus says, so you think you deserve it? You are a pathetic squire, and if I died, they will kill you. Maximus says, not I bring back the target. Maximus didn't give him stim pack and let him die. Next scene, we see Lucy arrive to a man who is living in barren place. Lucy says that she is a little bit lost and asks him, has he seen any group pass by with a prisoner? The man says no. He says, why don't you visit Philly and ask there? Lucy asks him, what's Philly? The man says it's a town over that hill, but he also says the town is dangerous. People always get killed in Philly all the time. Lucy thanked him and leaves for Philly. On the other hand, Maximus is wearing the armor suit and he is very excited. He feels the power of the suit. He enjoys it. He seems to be very happy. Lucy arrives Philly. She tries to talk with people, but they ignore her. She visits to market. She is exploring it. Then we see the ghoul. He is sitting on a chair. It looks like he is keeping an eye on her. Lucy went to a shop. She tells to shopkeeper. She noticed that you have an assortment of vault tech equipment. And these items technically belongs to vault tech. It would be safe to assume that you do business with criminals. Shopkeeper got worried. Lucy says, I am actually looking for one criminal in particular. Her name is Moldover. Then shopkeeper says, get out, you vault dwellers. Lucy says she break into the vault, killed their men, and kidnapped her father. Shopkeeper says, 
You should go else. You're going to go through a whole lot worse if you stay around here. Lucy requests her, but she says the vaults were nothing more than a hole in their ground for rich folks to hide in while the rest of the world burned. So get lost. While coming out from the shop, Lucy again meets the scientist. The scientist says you should go home. It's not safe here. Lucy says no one understands her situation. Everyone tell her to go back. Then scientist says you come from Vault 33. Your primary crop is corn. You are well disciplined. You've been brought up in a meritocracy where people pride themselves on doing right things. He says, I think I know enough. That's why I am telling you to go back to your home. Lucy asked, who are you? And how do you know so much? Then the shopkeeper came and asked the scientist, are you Wilsig? The scientist says, yes. Then shopkeeper tells him to get inside. And she says, Lucy, I told you to get out of here. Then we see the ghoul who calls Wilsig. They all are scared of him. Ghoul says now, you wouldn't happen to be a doctor, would you? Shopkeeper threatens him that he and his kind is not welcomed here. Ghoul says, I know, but I'm going to make myself welcome. Ghoul tells to everyone that last night a bounty came in through all six agencies with a hefty price on the head of a man that fits the description. And the man is right there. Shopkeeper says him that he is under her protection. Then suddenly Ghoul shoots and blow his leg. Everyone starts running away. The shopkeeper shouts, whoever kill the ghoul he will get rewards. Everyone seems to be interested in rewards. The ghoul looks around and shoots them. Then some guys shoot ghoul, but nothing happens to him. He just sits behind a table and reloads his gun. He shoots everyone who shot him. Shopkeeper also shoots him. Ghoul returns her favor. Ghoul approaches to Wilsig, the scientist. Then his dog attacks Ghoul. Ghoul stabs the dog. Lucy says to the Ghoul that she is unfamiliar about your circumstances, but at first glance, your treatment to this man appears unfair. So please stand down. But Ghoul ignored her and moves towards them. Lucy shot him with tranquilizer, but nothing happened to him. Ghoul says, well, this is a very small drop in a very, very large bucket of drugs. And he aims his gun towards Lucy. Then we see Maximus in the armor suit arrives and warns Ghoul to stand down. The Ghoul say, are you kidding me? And fires towards Lucy. Maximus saves her. Maximus says to Lucy that Wiltzig is important for him. He has been sent here to find him. So get him inside and keep him there until he deals with the Ghoul. Ghoul fires at Maximus. Maximus punches him. Lucy and Shopkeeper help Wiltzig and bring him in. Shopkeeper says that you need new foot. Lucy seems to be very eager. She asks shopkeeper, is he a knight? Shopkeeper just ignores her. She attaches the foot in. Wiltzig says, I must have to go. Shopkeeper tells Lucy to take this man here to my client. Lucy says, sorry, but I am here to find my dad. Then shopkeeper says, my client goes by the name of Lee Moldover. She also says that you ain't getting near Moldover without something to bargain with. And delivering this guy right here is your best option. Lucy agrees. Shopkeeper inputs the coordinates of Moldover in Lucy's device and says her to go now. On the other hand, Maximus keeps fighting the ghoul. But Maximus is new to the suit. He didn't know how to handle it perfectly. He gets his leg stuck. Ghoul realized that he is a newbie. He says, well, your basic training is not what it used to be. And he cuts his hose. Maximus suit malfunctions. He tries to fly, but Ghoul attached a hook and pulls him. He flies to the other side and fall. Ghoul searches for Wiltzig, but they were gone. Ghoul picks up Wiltzig's dog and brings him inside. He injects him with Stimpak. The dog recovers, and we see the dog becomes his companion. On the other hand, we see Lucy and Wiltzig are moving forward. Then Wiltzig says this will have to done. Lucy says we have 20 miles to go. Wiltzig falls. Wiltzig says that he is not going to make it. He says I have taken a cyanide pill. People going to come after you. You'll need to move quickly. He says to Lucy that she can change the future if you bring me to Moldaver. Lucy says, but how she will going to bring him if he dies? Wiltzig says, you don't need to carry my body, just my head. He takes out a saw and requests her to cut his head and take it to Moldover. He says, it will be easier if you carry my head instead of dragging my whole body. Lucy denies, she says she can't do it. But Wiltzig says, I am begging you. This is the only way to get your dad back. You are a vault dweller. I trust you, Miss McLean. Lucy asks, how do you know my name? Before she gets any answer, Wiltzig dies. Lucy feels hopeless, and she doesn't understand what to do. Then, she gathers her courage and picks up the saw. This was the end of Episode 2. Episode 1 has been detailedly explained. If you haven't watched it, kindly visit my channel.
Stay tuned for the explanation of Episode 3. Thanks for watching.